Good morning everyone. Thank you for attending my presentation entitled Chlamydia trachomatis infection in cervical abnormalities. My name is Ferreira Leila. I'm a third year PhD student in the Laboratory of Cell Biology and Molecular Genetics of the Faculty of Sciences Ibn Zohr University, Agadir, Morocco. This presentation has four sections. We are going to start with the background section. Chlamydia trachomatis is the leading cause of bacterial sexually transmitted infections globally. It is the cause of salpingitis, cervicitis, and even sterility. This infection is often asymptomatic. Chlamydia species are aerobic obligate intracellular bacteria because they rely on the energy produced by the host cell. More intriguing, there, there is scientific evidence that chlamydia trachomatis genital infection increases uh, the risk of acquiring and transmitting as well as of developing the, the HPV induced cervical carcinoma. Worldwide, newly registered chlamydia cases reach 217 million every year, according to the global report of HPV surveillance provided by the WHO in 2018. Morocco, on the other hand, records about 400,000 new cases of sexually transmitted infections each year but it is estimated that the actual burden is much higher due to the unreported cases. Elkitan et al. Uh, estimates that in 2015, 291, uh, 908 new cases of chlamydia trachomatis infection were reported. There is evidence that indicates the implication of chlamydia trachomatis infection in the development of cervical cancer. In Morocco, this disease comes in the second position after breast cancer in the leading causes of death by cancer in women. Chlamydia trachomatis cervical infection has been clinically documented to be associated with cytological atypia and cervical metaplasia, thus damaging epithelial integrity, allowing the human papillomavirus access to the basal epithelium and increasing, increasing viral load. Chlamydia trachomatis may be responsible for increasing the persistence of HPV infection by affecting viral clearance. Furthermore, the natural history of HPV infection may be influenced by chlamydia trachomatis induced chronic cervical inflammation, a reduction in antigen presenting cells, and inhibition of cell mediated immunity. A local deficit of immunity during the reparative phase of the epithelial, epithelial surface under inflammatory conditions may make cervical epithelial cells more susceptible to other pathogens. All these factors combined contribute in the active proliferation of damaged cells and thus the development of cervical carcinoma. Regarding the objectives of this study, we aim to determine the prevalence of chlamydia trachomatis infection in women in the south of Morocco. We aim also to determine the prevalence of this infection in women with normal and abnormal cytology and its associated factors. The second section of this presentation displays the method, the method used in this study. First of all, population sampling data collection and ethics considerations. The, part the participants were recruited between October 2018 and July 2019 in obstetric and gynecology clinics. All women were not pregnant and not receiving any recent or current antibiotic treatment. 
after giving their consent, participants were asked to complete a detailed questionnaire that included information related to their age, area of residence, occupation, lifestyle, medical history, and others. This study was approved by the Consultative Commission of Bioethics, Faculty of Science, Ecuador University. Next, we have samples collection and DNA extraction. On the cervical smears were collected by a gynecologist by the means of a situ brush. These situ brush were later collected for the molecular analysis. Cervical cytological abnormalities were identified by an experienced pathologist. The collected samples were immersed in a vial containing 10, uh, 10 ml of conservation solution. The samples were stored at room temperature before processing. Total genomic DNA was extracted by isolates acid purification kit following the inspection of the manufacturer. After the DNA extraction, we proceed to the PCR assays. First of all, the PCR assay to detect a human papilloma virus. On the cervical DNA samples were amplified with the L1 consensus HPV primers MY09 and MY11. It's an acid PCR, so we used another pair of uh, primers to amplify the, that region. In parallel, amplification of beta-globin gene as control for DNA integrity and for ruling out the presence of inhibitors of amplification was performed to every sample. Same for chlamydia trachomatis PCR assay, we used anesthetic PCR, specific primers for the detection of chlamydia. The protocol we followed was uh, published by Jalal A.O. Uh, it was performed using SPSS uh, version 25. Data were expressed as percentage of total or as frequency of positive cases. Student t-test and person key-score test were used to assess intergroup significance. Statistical significance was set at 5%. After performing the DNA extraction, we perform a control of quality and quantity of the extracted DNA. For the quantification of DNA, we used a spectrophotometer. And for the quality and the control of integrity of DNA, we used a simple electrophoresis uh, a test on 1% across gel. You can see in this picture that the, the, the DNA bands uh, are very clear in the absence of any smear. That might indicate the degradation of DNA of our sample. After DNA amplification uh, using PCR, the PCR products were electrophorized on Ethidium bromide stained agarose gen of 2% and visualized under UV translumination. You can see for the positive samples the presence of a 150 pb band uh, in the positive samples and its absence in, in the negative sample. PCR products uh, of chlamydia uh, trachomatis uh, essay. They were visualized on 2% agarose gel under UV transformation. The presence of 150 per uh, PB 
size band is indication of is an indication of the presence of chlamydia in the sample. First of all, the age of our population. We have a total of, 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 a total of 234 women with a mean age of 44.9 years, a minimum at 18 years old, and the maximum at 80 years old. You can see that this, this distribution follows a normal distribution. There are women from all the areas of Morocco, but the majority, up to 54%, were from the area of Agadir and its surrounding area. Next, the distribution of population to the population according to the marriage census. We can see from the bar chart that 85.9% percent of the, uh, the women were married, 6.8 percent were divorced, 3.6 single and 3.6 are widowed. Next we have the distribution of the population according to the education and occupation. You can see from the pie chart on the left that 53 percent of women never had any education 23 percent have have had primary education 80 percent have uh, second secondary education only six percent have uh, university education for employment status 77 percent of women were were unemployed Regarding the cytology status of the population, out of the 234 women, 22 only have abnormal cytology, which represents 9.4%. For the category of women with abnormal cytology, uh, this bar chart represents the age category distribution by the cytology. We can see that the, uh, the age range mostly affected by uh, abnormal cytology is between 51 years old and 60 years old. There is also a significant difference between the two groups, normal and abnormal. that there is uh, an association, significant association between the age of the, the patient and the outcome of their uh, cytology test. This means that they uh, have the prevalence of chlamydia, HPV and co-infection in our studied population. The prevalence of chlamydia is 57%, the prevalence of HPV is 50%, and the co-infection is 16%. We can see that there is a high prevalence of chlamydia treatment and co-infection in this, in this population. The both charts show the association between cytology and chlamydia trachomatis infection status. You can see that out of 74 positive chlamydia trachomatis women, 10 were abnormal, and out of 144 women with negative chlamydia trachomatis, 12 were uh, with uh, 12 have abnormal cytology. The difference between uh, the two groups it's not significant but uh, with a risk uh, of 1.45 with uh, of our population there is no association between 
the cytology infection, the cytology uh, abnormalities, and the infection state. We try to investigate the risk factors of our population. First risk factor is the age of our population. You can see from this bar chart that uh, of uh, chlamydia positive women, the uh, age range most affected by, uh, by this uh, infection is from 31 to 40 years old, followed by the age 51 to 60 years old. is the age at first intercourse. Women that started their sexual activity prior to 18 years old are the most infected with chlamydia trachomata. The statistical difference between the two categories, chlamydia positive and chlamydia negative women, uh, shows a p-value of 007. It's uh, a highly significant. The next risk factor I'm going uh, to talk about is the number of sexual partners. For sexual diseases, the number, the high number of sexual partners is a high risk factor. For our population, nine of the positive chlamydia trachomatis women declared having multiply uh, partners. In the other group of negative chlamydia trachomatis women, 20 have declared having multiply uh, partners. The statistical significance difference between the two groups was was not uh, was not significant. So there is no uh, difference between the two groups. What I'm going to show is the tobacco con consumption, comparing the two groups, chlamydia positive women and chlamydia negative women. The risk value is very high, 7.14, but the p-value doesn't show any significant difference between the two groups. We conclude that there is a high prevalence of chlamydia trachomatis infection in the Moroccan population, which may be explained by the low socioeconomic level of this studied population, and also some cult cultural factors uh, can stop people from discussing diseases of the genital area. There is a significant association between the susceptibility uh, to chlamydia trachomatis infection with uh, HPV, and also there is a significant risk factor associated with the young age of patients and the early, early sexual activity. The persistence of human papilloma via co-infection might be concomitant with the alteration in the microbial communities of the that will be responsible for severe outcomes. Our future goals is to investigate the of cervical microbiota associated to the chlamydia infection. My presentation has reached its end. I thank all the patients for kindly agreeing to participate to the study. I thank all the clinicians that collaborated with, with us to accomplish this study. I thank all my lab mates for being so helpful. I thank my supervisor for his guidance. Also, many thanks for the funding agency Le Centre National de Recherche Scientifique et Technique. Thank you all for attending this presentation. I'll be available. I'll, I'll be available in the Q and A session. Thank you all.